Hello everyone and welcome to this morning's Bookbug session. I'm Ro and here's Bookbug and today we're going to do a special session all about animals. So why don't we get started with my favourite one and I think perhaps Bookbug's too, Little Green Frog. Okay, now remember Little Green Frog has a, a tongue, a little la la la, remember that one? Okay, let's go ahead and start with Little Green Frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm -mm, went the little green frog. Mm -mm, went the little green frog one day, and the frog went. Mm -mm, -la 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 -la. He did, you know. But we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na. But we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, they don't go. Mm mm, ba la 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 la. What next? Mm mm, went the little green frog one day. Mm mm, went the little green frog. Mm mm, went the little green frog one day, and the frog went. Mm mm, ba la 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 la. But we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. Sha na 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 na, but we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, they don't go. Mm mm, ba la 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 la. Well said. Now why not straight on to our next one, which is one I think we all know well, and all I probably have to do is the next movement, and you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. I'll pop you down, but bug. We know who this is. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. And we can do this well, can't we? And we know exactly who it is when we do that. Floppy ears and curly whiskers. Floppy ears and curly whiskers. Floppy ears and curly whiskers, and he flipped it and he flopped it, and the fly flew away. Let's do ear, how about that? A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his ear. A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his ear. A little Peter Rabbit, getting confused, had a fly upon his ear, and he flipped it and he flopped it, and the fly flew away. Floppy ears and curly whiskers, floppy ears and curly whiskers, floppy ears and curly whiskers, and he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. Last time, why don't we do, why don't we do, why don't we do shoulder? A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his shoulder. A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his shoulder. A little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his shoulder. And he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. Floppy ears and curly whiskers. Sometimes I think you need to take time. I don't know if you saw, but I got myself totally confused there. So I'll do that bit again. Floppy ears and curly whiskers, floppy ears and curly whiskers, and he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. Now that we've got rid of the flies, whew, thank goodness for that, they can be a little bit of a pain, can't they? How about we go for a hedgehog is very prickly. Now I'm going to pop book bug down because this one has lots of actions that you can do. You can do this with your baby or toddler, or you can do it yourself if you like, girls and boys. Here we go. A hedgehog is very prickly, a hedgehog is very prickly, a hedgehog is very prickly, it couldn't be anything else. A fish is very slippery, a fish is very slippery, a fish is very slippery, it couldn't be anything else. Oh, I'm getting giddy there. And who's this? A snake is very hissy. Just make it a little snake head. A snake is very hissy, a snake is very hissy, it couldn't be anything else. And the best one, a crocodile's very snap. A crocodile's very snappy, a crocodile's very snappy, 
be, he couldn't be anything else. You can use your arms as wide as you like, because you don't have the screen here. Oh, and that's a big crocodile. And he wouldn't be anything but snappy when he's hungry, would he? Not at all. Okay, well, I thought we might do a Scottish one now. And now that we've had, hmm, what have we had? All sorts of different things from fish to rabbits to frogs. I thought we could do three craws. How about that? Here we go. So we'll have three verses. And you can just hum along, sing along. We can do a few of the actions with me. Here we go. So, three crows sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. Three crows sat upon a wall on a cold and frosty morning. The first crow, he couldn't eat. He was greeting for his maw. You keep me right, book bug. Greeting for his maw. Greeting for his maw. The first crow was greeting for his maw. Oh, poor thing, on a cold and frosty morning. The second crow, she couldn't flee at all. Get those wee, wee wings going. She couldn't flee at all. She couldn't flee at all. The second crow, she couldn't flee at all on a cold and frosty morning. And the third crow, what do you think? This is a funny one, isn't it? The third crow, I oh, was neither at all, was neither at all, was neither at all. The third crow. Was neither at all on a cold and frosty morning. Where had he gone? Probably back home, I would say, to toast his toes against the fire. <clears throat> Although we've not got yet there yet, have we? It's only August, so we've still got nice sunny days. What do you think? I think we have. And I think maybe now it's time for some rhymes. So how about we start with some I mean, it's that time of year, isn't it? I mean, they're not coming in yet, but it's not quite as warm as it was. So if you leave a window open, you never know. Well, we do Incy Wincy Spider, and we'll do this as a rhyme, not a song this time, okay? Here we go. So, finger to thumb. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain and incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Will we do that again? So finger to thumb and then we start climbing. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. It's not easy that, is it? I get confused all the time with that. So it's finger to thumb like that. And here's another little spider one. This is a funny little one you can do if you've got your baby or toddler there, or you just do it on yourself. And you've got the nice sensations like that, all tickly, all light. And you have your little spider here. This is a fairly new one for me, but you have your little spider like that on your path. And you go, I had a teeny spider. I'm very fond of him. He crawls up to my shoulder and then up to my chin. He crawls up to my nose and jumps onto my head. And when he's very tired, he runs back home to bed. Night, night. We can do that on YouTube, but can't we? I have a little spider. I'm very fond of him. He crawls up to my shoulder and then up to my chin. He jumps onto my nose and then onto my head. And when he's very tired, he runs back home to bed. Night, night. Quite like that one myself. How about we do another couple? Now, as we're only doing animals today, who have we got left? We've done birds. We've done boat bugs, we've done crocodiles, 
Frogs, uh, what about caterpillars? We haven't done caterpillars, have we? Here we go. <laughs> I know, I know. Here we are, two little caterpillars sitting on a leaf. One named Catherine and one named Keith. Crawl away, Kathleen. Crawl away, Keith. Come back, Kathleen. Come back, Keith. Do that one again. Two little caterpillars sitting on a leaf. One named Kathleen and one named Keith. Crawl away, Kathleen. Crawl away, Keith. Come back. Oh, come back, Kathleen. And come back, Keith. And what's tricky about that one, as you can see from me doing there, is making sure you get the right ones coming back round. But it doesn't matter if you didn't. And will we try dicky birds as well now? Here we go. So, two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Posy and one named Paul. Fly away, Posy. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Posy, and come back, Paul. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite slow and gentle and just gives you a little bit of time to learn the actions and things. And now we have to think what to do next, though, don't we? We've had two dicky birds, we've had two caterpillars, crocodiles. How about how about a leopard? Yeah. Now this is a lovely one. It's quite new to me. I think I've done it one time before, but you maybe all know it. You're all pros. You maybe know it very well. But it's a lovely one. Your baby, toddler, chilled child, sorry. Or you're doing it yourself. If you're watching, you can just do little spots on yourself. It's great. So here we go. But this is book bug here. And we're demonstrating together. Here we go. A leopard has lots of spots. A lot of spots he's got. A tiger has stripes like long drain pipes. And that's lovely and tickly and long. But a leopard has lots of spots, 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 spots. Do that again. And you can do it fast or slow, which can be quite nice as well. So here we go. A leopard has lots of spots, a lot of spots he's got. A tiger has stripes like long drain pipes. But a leopard has lots of spots, 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 It's quite good fun, that one. I like that. Okay. Well, leopards, tigers, how about? A coo. This is another Scottish one called Katie Beardy had a coo. And we all know what a coo is, don't we? Do we? Mm. Yeah, I thought so. Here we go. And this one, I like to just sort of dance along to this one, really. Hmm? Will we try that? Katie Beardy had a coo, black and white a bootamoo. Wasn't he she a dainty coo? Dance Katie Beardy. Diddly I did I did I, diddly I did I did I, diddly I did I did I, dance, dance, dance. Katie Beardy had a hen, toddled butt and toddled Ben. Wasn't he she a busy hen? Dance Katie Beardy. Diddly I did I did I, diddly I did I did I, diddly I did I did I, dance, dance, dance. Katie Beardy had a pig. No, she didn't. He. Oh, she did. Wasn't he that the dainty pig? Dance Katie Beardy. Tiddly idle, idle, die. Tiddly idle, idle, die. Tiddly idle, idle, die. Dance, dance, dance. Oh, I think we need to tiddly eye again, don't you? Tiddly idle, idle, die. Tiddly idle, idle, die. Tiddly idle, idle, die. Dance, dance, dance. Wow. Thanks, everyone. It's got a lovely little uh, sort of flavour, like a little Scottish fiddle tune, hasn't it? And just to say, in case you heard any, you might not have done, but if you've got very good hearing, you might have heard some thundering about in the background. And that's my little cat, Peter. Now, he's a little Persian cat, and he's quite small, but he's got very big feet, and they make lots of noise, don't they? Mm -hmm. I think we maybe met him last time he came in front of the screen. He's got a very bushy tail. 
well, we could maybe include him in today's Old MacDonald Has a Farm. What do you think? Here we go. Okay. So, what will we start with? Hmm? Book box. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a book box. E-I-E-I-O, with a Oh, read, you reading with a read, read here and a read there, here a read, everywhere a read, read. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What's next? And on that farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow here and a meow there, here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O, we've no chickens here, but we can do a chicken, can't we? With a pop, pop here, a pop, pop there, here a pop, there a pop, everywhere a pop, pop. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a doggy. And I'll tell you what makes me say doggy, because at the moment I have Aaron the doggy, who's a collie doggy, and he's got his chin on my foot, keeping me warm. I'm very lucky, aren't I? So let's do a doggy with a bow wow here and a bow wow there. Here a bow, there a wow, everywhere a bow wow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm. Now if I could hear everybody's favorites, I'd be sure to pick one, but I can't just at the moment, so why don't I pick my favourite, your favourite, a horsey, okay? With a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. -E -I -I Gosh, we've done lots now. Horses, book bugs, cats, dogs, chickens. And now it's time for this morning's story, which I showed you earlier. The Very Funny Frog by Jack Tickle. And it's published by Little Tiger Press. So thanks to them for making it possible today for us to have this lovely book and for me to be able to read it to you. Now this is a very special book and you'll see why in a second. Lots of garden animals are hiding in this book, waiting to pop out at you. So come and take a look. Butterflies, the bright and playful butterflies, meet where the flowers grow. Sticking pollen to their feet, they flutter high and low. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whoa! Isn't that beautiful? And there's still plenty of them around just now. Here's a funny one. You'll like this, I think. Funny frog sits on the pond with insects buzzing by. Quick as a flash, his tongue flicks out to catch a big fat fly. Wait till you see this. Oh, <laughs> that's something else, isn't it? We'll do it again to catch a big fat fly. Mmm. Fantastic. Gosh, this is a good book, isn't it? The blackbirds in the garden sing a sweet and tuneful song. They flap their wings, they tweet and splash and chatter all day long. Wait for this one. Oh my goodness. So they're on the, the, uh, the bird bath, aren't they? Look at that. Gosh. Wow, and it says, splish, splash. I wonder if you've seen any blackbirds in your garden recently. Next one. Rabbits are so full of fun. They love to leap and hop, eating carrots, playing games. They never seem to stop. Look at that. Oh, I think you'll like this next one. This is a bit more unusual, this one. You don't see these every day. 
making mole hills everywhere. Mole loves to dig all day, but when he pops out from the ground, the worms all squirm away. Whoop! Look at that. Look at the big paws and that pink nose. Whoop! Wow. I wonder what's next. Gosh. The very spotty ladybirds are rushing everywhere, scuttling over shiny leaves and flying through the air. And here they are. Let's see which ones are moving. I'll close the book and open it again. Great. Now this is the very last page. Spiders. <gasps> when night time comes, the moon is high and all the world's in bed. The spider friends make pretty webs in shining silver thread. The busy garden day is through, the stars are shining bright. So now it's time to go to sleep, curled up warm and tight. Look. Gosh, you can see them right at the bottom. I'll close it again and watch them all come out in the moonlight. Whoa, right up here. Isn't that lovely? One up here, one over there. Night, night. Okay, now that all the spiders have said good night, it's maybe time for us to have a few slow and gentle songs before the end of our session this morning. So how about we sing Sleepy Bunnies? I know we've already sung about bunnies, but that was only one bunny. This is a few bunnies. What do you think? Will we do bunnies? Here we go. Now, of course, you can lie on the floor, pretend to be a sleepy bunny, or you've got your baby there in your arms. You can just gently rock instead of doing a big hop, 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 okay? And it's nice to sing it gently. It's almost like a lullaby, isn't it? See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we gently wake them with a merry tune? Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up soon. Wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop and stop. Now you can hop as hoppily or as quietly as you like, but it's a good one, isn't it? It's a nice song, nice and gentle. And then with a good hop, hop, hop at the end. Will we repeat that? Will we do the hop, hop, hop? Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies, hop and stop. Okay, well, there's hopping and then there's popping. That rhymes, doesn't it? And I've got a couple of little tunes, little songs here that have a little bit of popping involved. How about we try that? Oh, this is a good one first. This is new to me. So we're gonna do this gently and we're gonna do it slowly. And we're gonna see how I get on. And you let me know how I get on because I think a lot of you know this one. I think this is quite a favorite. So let's see. It's Tiny Turtle, isn't it? I had a little turtle. So I'm making my turtle like that. Oh, like that? Is it like that? That's the little, oh, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is my turtle today. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and ate up all the soap. And now he's in his bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! That's quite good, isn't it? That's the first time I've done that one. Do you want to help me with the bubble bubbles? Bubble, 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 pop! And then there's another little rhyme with a pop at the end. 
or a pup at the beginning for this one called Pop Goes the Weasel. And this is one that I remember when I was little. And do we know much about weasels? Now that's an animal we've not done today. A weasel is a little furry creature, very fast, can be quite furious at times, runs very fast indeed, is a sort of brownie colour, a bit like a stoat or a ferret. I don't know if that's making that any more clear, is it? Maybe some people will have seen one, but it's called Pop Goes the Weasel. Half a pound of toppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. We do the pop again. Pop goes the weasel. Now, I think I used to love it if somebody could go. But unfortunately, I'm not very good at that. But if any of you can do it, now, why don't you go ahead and do it while we sing this one again? Half a pound of toppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. Oh, treacle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. And do we all know what treacle is? Treacle's a very gluey thing, a bit like syrup, but dark and sweet. And you put it in all sorts of things like gingerbread and you name it. Mm. Quite lovely stuff really, I think. Okay, so we're approaching the end of our session today. So I think we could maybe just do another one or two. Let me think, what other animal ones have we got? Mm. What about Barbara? What about Barbara Black Sheep? Now this is another old nursery rhyme. Um, but it can be done in a very nice, gentle manner. So it's almost like a lullaby. See, here we go. It's just got a few movements, but not many. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the team, and one for the little boy who lived down the lane. We do that one more time. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame, and one for the little girl who lives down the lane. Gosh, wow, we're almost at the end of our book bug session today. I really hope you've all enjoyed it, singing along with us and whoa, keeping yourselves right or keeping me right because I think I've whoa, been getting it all wrong today. It's just one of those days, isn't it? But all the different songs and the rhymes about animals, we hope you've enjoyed them and it gives you a little bit of something different and maybe just you can think today all the animals that you love, what your favourite one is and what kind of thing they do, whether it's hopping or grizzling like a grizzly bear or reading like a book bug slithering like a snake so with that in mind why don't we just go ahead and do our goodbye song okay Shall we start yeah we'll do babies and we'll do children then we'll do everyone okay here we go coming over this side okay here we go goodbye everyone goodbye everyone no do you not say goodbye babies yeah Goodbye babies, goodbye babies, glad that you could come. Goodbye babies, goodbye babies, glad that you could come. And what's next? I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. What's next? Goodbye children, goodbye children, glad that you could come. Goodbye children, goodbye children, glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. And now it's everyone, isn't it? Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. I, 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 I'm glad that you could come. See you again.